Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest XI. My name is Karsten. So we've just defeated the Tentacular. Oh, thank you, thank you! <laughs> Darlings, it was nothing, really! Mahalo, mahalo. Whoever you people are, I can't thank you enough. But I can sure feed you enough. Tonight we're gonna have a luau to remember, and you're gonna be the guests of honor. Get ready to drink, dance, and fill your belly with fish till you fall down. Come one, come all to Lona Lulu. Okay. So now we're at the party. One of them has got to be the guy we're looking for. Still, finding Kai can wait. We're the guests of honor. For now, let's just kick back and enjoy the party. Celebrate by breaking all the things. Looking. Much fun chilling with soup on the salty sty and he's my best mate. Sure, let's hear the song you composed. Oh oi tentacular. Oi ocean's daughter, stormy child of stormy waters. The heroes came and bashed your brains. We'll never see your like again. Masterpiece, wouldn't you agree? And to think I wrote it in a single night. Sometimes I surprise even myself. Okay, then. Really? I don't hear tasty beverages, but I can still speak with the spirits. <laughs> oh, that's great. That, that, that is absolutely hilarious. Wonderful party, darling. I'm making so many fabulous new friends. We must try the giant calamari. It's to die for. I is nowhere to be seen, huh? Nobody around here has seen Kai, so she's not much of a party person. Come on. There's... Come on. There we go. Right, I saved the pearl trade. Yay, now where's Kai? And where 
do you think you're going? You're off to look for Kai, aren't you? Well, I'm coming with you. Oh, hello, Veronica. What are you doing out here? Oh, those stupid fishermen said the party was only for grown-ups, so they couldn't let me in. Is every bar in the world full of stubborn idiots or something? Anyway, you're going to look for Kai, aren't you? I've got nothing better to do, so I might as well join you. Right? You have a, uh... An excuse about having to go down to the dock to fix his friend's boat. I see. sparkly over there. I'm going to go grab that while I'm thinking of it. Get around everything. Yeah. For now I can jump down. Trying to get back up. Oh, hello. thousand gold. I'm not gonna argue with that. Uh-huh. But the strangers going on, they keep coming back to me with new injuries. I've been asking them all their names, but I haven't come across Kai yet. He isn't too badly hurt to come and see me or anything. Gee, I wonder what... Yeah, we've seen this before. Anyone ever watch, um... Irresponsible Captain Tyler? Oh no, is she a robot spy? So, let's see... Someone's fixing a boat over there. Hello. You have a hat. Oh, hey, you're the guys to beat the, the tentacular, right? Yo, you won for that, for sure. You should get back to the luau. Tell me... Tell about the rest of the men will be missing their guests of honor already. Unless you've got some business with me? You're looking for a guy called Kai, huh? Sure, that's me. Kai knew he to my, my mom, but everyone else just calls me Kai. What do you want? Remind Kai that Michelle is waiting for him. Yes, that's what we're supposed to do, I hope. Sorry, but I'm not the man from your story. You must have me mixed up with somebody else. Hm. Don't give us that nonsense. We know you're the only Kai in Lonolulu. If you never meant to marry that poor mermaid, you should never have proposed to her. Hey, go easy on the accusations, will you? People here got no love for mermaids. If they think I do, I'll be in trouble. <sighs> the Kai you're looking for is my grandfather, Kai Noah. I take it you've heard the tale of the mermaid's curse? Yes, yes, your mother told us all about it. But I can't see what an old fairy tale has to do with anything. You can't keep Michelle waiting any longer. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's not a fairy tale. It's true. The fisherman from the story? That was my tutu, my grandpa. <gasps> it all happened 50 years ago. And it happened just like my ma tells it. But the story didn't end there. Ten years after grandpa got chased out of the village, the kahuna's daughter, Leilani, she married another man. And they had a kid together. After the baby came, the people started to forget about Kainoa and the curse the mermaid put on him. Till one day, 
another great storm struck, even more violent than the one that sent my grandfather to the bottom of the sea. The kahuna's boat went down, and him and his daughter's new husband went with it. The men who survived went to break the news to Leilani, but when they got there, her and the baby, they were nowhere to be found. The villagers said it was the mermaid's revenge, that she took all four of them because she couldn't have Kainoa. So they lit torches and they marched to Saikiki Beach to confront him. When they threw open the door of his hut, they couldn't believe what they saw. He'd been living all alone for the last 10 years, but there he was with a baby in his arms. And the baby, it was dripping with water. They ran off screaming, talking about how he must have had a kid with the mermaid. And that was the last time anyone from the village went to Saikiki. Hmm. Wait, but that baby must have been your mother, which would mean she was half mermaid, which would make you... Cooley Cooley, don't even say it. My mother is a human being. My grandpa found her abandoned on the beach and raised her as his own. He never had a kid with a mermaid. That's just a stupid rumor made up by a bunch of superstitious fishermen. If that mermaid really is still out there somewhere waiting for Grandpa, there's something I want you to give her. Meet me on Saikiki Beach. It's on the other side of the Cape. You can get there through the chapel at the back of the village. I'll leave the door unlocked. Okay. So he has something we want. <laughs> he wants us to give the mermaid. What? A bird through the gut or something? Let's head up to, uh,. Back at the back of the church. Oh. Looking for Kai, you just missed him. Here a moment ago, but ran straight through that door without even saying hello. Poor lad looked a bit upset. Something happened? Could say that. Anything I might need to grab like that. What? What? Interesting. Can I read any of the others? Doesn't look like it. That's interesting that there's that one there.
This veil was my tutus. Ma said when she found him after he died, he was just lying there holding on to it. Guess there was a reason I never threw it away. If you really know where to find that mermaid, I want you to take it to her and tell her he's dead. Okay. Look, I'm sorry if I was kind of short with you back there, but it hasn't been easy for me and my ma. After Grandpa died, they let her go back to the village and marry a local guy, but it didn't stop folks talking. But she rose above it, turned it into that story show of hers, and now that's how she makes her living. She's a smart woman, tough too. I hate that mermaid for what she's put us through, and I don't want my kids to suffer like we have. The kahuna is finally letting me sail with the other men. The curse is nearly undone. Please, take the veil and let that be an end to it. Interesting. So that's been a interesting set of developments on that story. Hearing all the different sides of it. So, you have a uh, plot marker over in that building there. So let's check that out before we head out. He's been even moodier than usual since he came back from the squid hunt. Worried about him. Did he get hurt in the fight with the tentacular or something? Better not have, stupid idiot. He's okay. Never knew my grandpa. Ma tells me that every night he used to leave his hut and stare out over the ocean and draw pictures. Because it used to really creep her out. Like he was a ghost or something, searching for his stolen soul. I says I'm just like my grandpa. If I meet this Michelle, maybe the same thing that happened to him might... Could I said anything? I just want that creature out of my family's life forever. Give her the veil, and let that be an end to it. Okay. So you guys sure have a big house for situation <laughs> so I should probably everyone's healed up so, uh, so we're good we can go ahead and head out I'll walk out normally in case there's a cutscene, and then I'll use zoom to head over there. Eh, it doesn't look like there's going to be a cutscene.
grab that uh, sparkly first. Then I'll give her the bad news. I have the feeling she might not be tremendously happy about the situation, but it is what it is. Again, my friend, I'm so, so happy you've returned. It's been so long since you were off, I got a bit concerned. I worried that your ship had sunk or Kai had gone away. That's why I'm singing happy songs to keep my tears at bay. But you don't need to know that. Seriously, shut up, Jell. The only thing that matters now is that you're safe and well. So tell me, did you find my Kai as he well as ever? Is he on his way to meet me here so we can be together? Lie to Michelle and tell her that Kai is coming to meet her. No. She needs to know the truth. I tell her the truth. Kai is dead? That can't be true. I don't believe a word. It's ludicrous, ridiculous, preposterous, absurd. Hold on a minute. What's that? Holding in your hand a net of pearls and seashells on a pretty coral band? I see my Kai made me this veil to wear when we were wed and clutched it as he passed away. Saying that he's dead? Oh, please, no, it can't be so. I know he'd never break that promise that he made to me. There must be some mistake. How can Micaiah have passed away? I nursed him back to health. I simply won't believe it till I found out for myself. I need to meet the Kai you met and hear it straight from him. Take me to Honolulu. You can sail and I can swim. That, why don't I come aboard? Oh, thanks, you're very kind. There's a lot to think about. I'll follow on behind. Okay. Well, he didn't really want to meet with you, but uh, he did say to tell you the truth, so let's head back over there. Okay. I for your wagon, but I heard what Michelle told you. So, are we heading back to Honolulu or what? Let me jump, leave it to old Dave, or Dave. And his friends sail back to Lunalulu. They drop anchor in the waters off Saikiki Beach to keep Michelle from the eyes of the fearful fishermen. Okay, so it's automatic then. The locals see a mermaid that will fill their hearts with fear. I'll hide on this abandoned beach and wait for Kai right here. I'm sorry to keep, ask, to keep asking, but this is my final plea. Would you please find that man you met and bring him back to me? Well, I'll, uh... I'll ask him, but I don't think he'll be very keen. <laughs> back around the village again. Can I, uh, jump down here? No. Sorry for making you take care of that for me. I should do something for you in return. Fix up your ship, go get you some pearls, maybe just say the word. Huh? You want me to go to Saikiki Beach with you? Why would you want to go to a lonesome place like that? Well, if you're sure that's all you want, I guess a promise is a promise. Lead the way. You are not going to be happy with things, but... We do have to advance the plot. Sorry, Kai.
I'm assuming he's with me. Yep, there he is. So, uh... Why have you brought me here? for joy you don't know me i don't know you you're not my darling boy no i'm not the man you loved he was my grandfather but he's not here anymore My darling Kai, my one true love, the one that I adored. You died alone and friendless on this cold and windswept shore. Oh, how could I forget we mermaids live 500 years? Quick as a flash, a human life just ups and disappears. Without Kai, hours seem to pass too slowly to be true. But now I see cruel time was flowing faster than I knew. Hey. Thanks for finding Kai for me. You've been a proper friend. To trace my love across the sea until the bitter end. I said I would reward you, and I mean to pay that debt. You'll find your prize upon the self-same island where we met. I'm sorry I can't come along and see you on your way, but now I'm here, I can't go back. I think I have to stay. Sings a bewitching melody that reverberates off the cliffs above. in the brine but that's all right i got to meet my darling one last time oh. if i had been a human or if he had been like me perhaps we could have lived together happy as can be but 
I'm a mermaid. He's a man. There's no point asking why. He was my one true love. But now, it's time to say... I can't stop thinking I've seen her somewhere before. Of course! Grandpa's cabin! <laughs> that was not how I expected that to go. Um, before we go there... Okay, well, I was going to save first, but uh, we will take a break here. Sorry to leave it on something of a cliffhanger, but uh, we have been recording for a little bit longer than I like to for right now. Uh, I hope you have been enjoying, despite the bit of a sad bit of story here we got. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time.